All right, Marcus, fourth trip to the NCAs for you. Uh, coming back home, you're from Bay, right? Hell yeah. How pumped are you to come back and wrestle before the hometown crowd here? Oh, it's like nothing else. I mean, I've been to New York, I've been to St. Louis, I've been to Oklahoma City, but wrestling in this arena, wrestling in Cleveland, I feel so much at home. Well, wrestling on that match is so comfortable for me, as I'm sure it is the other guys that train 10 minutes away at St. Ed's. You know, all our Cleveland guys are together this last uh, this last year, so it's pretty special, real special. You look at the team, you know, the guys that you wrestled with, look at the guys that, you know, you're here with us, you know, Columbia guys, and look at the St. Ed's guys that are here. Yeah. Right, Dean, you yep. graduated with Dean, right? Yep. Who you graduated with, Dean? Colin and Dom. Colin, you guys all graduated together? Yep, yep. And, uh, you know, I talked to Coach Urbis last week, and he's, you know, so excited how there's four of you uh -huh. guys here, and he gets to come watch. Um, what is, what, what is Greg Urbis meant to you and as a mentor, a friend, a teacher, a coach. What's that guy like and what's he, how's he changed your life? Yeah, well, I mean, ever since I was a little kid, I grew up in the uh, St. Ed's West Shore system. Um, from day one, he's been the happiest, the most uh, motivated, and the, and the most love-giving person I've uh, you know, had in my childhood. Um, I just went back to St. Ed's and got a workout and we flew in on Tuesday, touched down at Cleveland Hopkins, went right to St. Ed's. Felt like home again. It was actually pretty nostalgic, and it was uh, it was excellent. But no, I mean, and you see, one example, or you know, an easy example of Greg Erbis's character, and also John Heffernan's, is the fact that they had teams shuffling in and out of that place this week, just giving their room to anyone who needed it, anyone who wanted it, as many times as they liked. So it was, just, it was just that's a good example of exactly what he is, Greg Erbis. Speaking of Coach Heff, there could be a Colin Heff matchup. Yeah. How do you feel about that? And have you thought about that at all? Well, you know, we brought four guys here from St. Ed's. I brought two of my buddies from Columbia, and all we're looking to do is place as high as we can on that podium. You know, I'll let, uh, I'll let fate do the rest, but I'm going to give all I got on that mat. And then Saturday night, we'll see what happens. Looking at this, you know, going to New York City from Bay Village, man, it's a little different. Oh, yeah. It's a little different. Lakewood's a little different. Cleveland's a little different. Northeast Ohio's a lot different. You know, what's the, the greatest thing about going to Columbia, being in Manhattan, and, you know, being a four-time NCAA qualifier, being able to wrestle there and have the full student-athlete experience of Columbia? Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, when I decided to go to Columbia, I wanted to be the, exactly that, a student-athlete. I wanted to use my talents as a wrestler as far as I could as much as I can and I continue will to do after this tournament. But there's also an end to every road and open doors or doors that can be shown to you and plentiful is what I wanted. So um, after I'm done this at Columbia, you know, I have a Columbia University degree and uh, I also caught on to some New York uh, fashion trends and some, some uh, you know, what's going on at New York. But when I get back to Cleveland, I just throw on my Cleveland cap and uh, I'm one of the uh, hometown boys again, so it's great. Will you stay or go? Will you stay in New York City or come back? I'll probably stay in New York City, exercise what options I got, um, you know, as far as graduate assistant or, or uh, looking to compete after. So we'll see that when that comes. What degree? Uh, economics and political science. Okay. Joint, ma joint major. We might be seeing you in, like, politics. <laughs> The way politics are going right now, I don't want to be in them, but <laughs> we'll see. End of the match there. I've always seen you get in these horrible positions. You were in one of those horrible positions at the end of the match. How do you not blow your knee out on that one? I was just telling my coach, I mean, if I didn't have these rubber rubber knees, then I might have gotten turned there. But it's a gift that I've had ever since I grew up as a little kid. You know, four knee surgeries, what I had to, had to do for it. But uh, I like to put myself in this position, that position because it could pay off a lot. And, uh, you know, with risk comes reward and, and vice versa. So, um, you know, I'm used to it by now. All right, man. Who you got next? Uh, Mikey Jordan tonight. Good luck. Ohio battle. I love yeah. watching those. Thanks for the time, man. Thanks, man.